meeting to order. Jenkins? Here. Harden? Here. Hahn? Here. McKinley? Yes. Ms. Horn? Here. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'm assuming our first presentation is not here. I'm not seeing. And with that, we move to section one, consent vision. Make a motion to approve the consent agenda. I second it. Any discussion? Call it. Jenkins? Yes. Hahn? Yes. Hardy? Yes. McKinley? Yes. Ms. Dory? Yes. Motion carried. There being no unfinished business, we move to new business. Make a motion we approve resolution 2015 11, donation to the Pharmacy Antiques Group. Discussion? It's the same that we've done the last couple of years, right? Yes. Let's go to the hotel and hotel time. Call it. Hahn? Yes. Hardy? Yes. McKinley? Yes. Desmore? Yes. Jenkins? Yes. Motion carries. I'm going to move our presentation to section four uh, after Mr. Spray. Um, there being no other new business, do we uh, we move on to other items, uh, non-agenda items, and other business? I have a few questions about this report. Yes. Uh, I was just thumbing through it, and by doing just quick math, uh, excluding the business DMS fire department system warrants. I'm seeing 392 incidents and only 23 where the police have investigated or followed up on anything. If I'm reading this right. Not sure, not sure your point here. Um, you have a, an example there, Scott. Yeah. Well, I'm just going down here where it says rest and rest. And, uh, there's uh, alarm burglary intrusions. There's 10 there. Well, there won't necessarily uh, be an arrest there. They could be responding to, some, to one. I, I, I mean, an alarm goes off because yeah. uh, you didn't hit the code in time, so they respond to the alarm so they could. There's 15 juvenile problems. There's 10 domestic disputes. Uh, these are all the times the police have gone down. Yeah, it's all the times the police have gone down. And it's, it's unfair to say it's 392 incidents, but some of these, wouldn't there be more than 23 investigations? Yeah, I couldn't speak to that. I mean, you know, you'd have to ask the chief of police. Um, and that is, of course, I mean, it's a little unfair to... Uh, Certainly not. Uh, you just received it today, I so... I just dropped this yeah. in here and... Um, but I would say... You know, a lot of these I'll just go through a citation to stop sign four, citation, disobey traffic control. I don't know if all of those you'd have to do follow ups. Well, um, I wasn't going into the traffic citations. Okay. I, I take it for granted that they wrote the citation that, that it was warranted. I would I would I would defer this over to the chief of police and again he was here last week and, and left right. the car. There'd be something that you could ask him. But um, you know, I couldn't speak to any of these issues. And um, there, there's an alliance that says public service complaints, other 34. That seems pretty generic to me. That's for the year. Right. Well, I'm just, I'm yeah. going to be, I'm, I'm looking at it too. Here today, Check well being, that kind of interest me. What's that all about? Well, I assume that somebody, somebody's having a medical issue. I mean, I just, it, some relative would have called and said, hey, I can't get a hold of my mother, and will you go look on her? In which page do you see the follow up? Under page. This okay. no, Investigation. Investigation and follow up. Okay. Maybe we could have the. Should we explain all this or. Have you followed up the next meeting? And 
I know, we've, I know we've had a fair share of vandalism problems and that sort of thing. And I did do, I did do some asking when I went to the conference about that, and they suggested that we we approach the state's attorney to see if we can motivate the judge to they pull these kids more accountable. I have no problem with that. Uh, yeah, uh, we can defer this question to the chief. Would you like him here at, yeah, the, next, next, at the next meeting? Yeah. Yeah. Sandy, thank you. Any other non-agenda items? Do we do work days outside this meeting? We sh yeah, we can. I mean, we just can call for one. Uh, over a specific, I mean, give us a specific. Um, uh, I would recommend, though, uh, if, I mean, if you have a specific issue that's going to be less than an hour or so, just schedule it for the actual, you know, time that we have a meeting. Um, you know, you know, I'm new to this. No, I'm absolutely. Getting this, I'm getting this stuff on Friday. I got Saturday, Sunday to look it over, then we'll go to our It doesn't seem like yeah. a lot of time for me to, to make a, a, a good decision. Well, tonight we'll be discussing. Tonight there's not much to discuss. No. no. I have found in the last four years that that has been sufficient time. Okay. Um, if there are things that you feel that you need more time on, you can recommend that it's tabled. All right. And, or even put a hold on. We have, in the last few years, had something brought to us and we felt that it was rushed. And we have. We've tabled it. Or we've even voted it down and asked that it be brought up. <coughs> So anything that's brought up to you at this evening, you have every right. All the city councilmen have every right to say, "Wait a second, this is this is a little bit too, you know, too aggressive, too fast." And uh, I mean, in the past, I've been part of many different things that took months to to get through. So okay. feel free. And of course, you can't talk to more than two people at any given time. You you may feel free to reach out to any of the councilmen uh, over the weekend. Uh, the city manager throughout the week, or, or me, if there's any you know any right. particular questions. All the questions are appreciated because a lot of times maybe a question you just asked here just a few minutes ago, great question. So well, um, I'm, I'm on a learning curve. This is not an issue, you guys. I'm on a well, learning curve. We are learning. too. So well, I appreciate that. that. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, but if, yeah, I mean, if you guys, as long as it's it's not legal or anything like that, we'd entertain it. But at the same time, or a work group. But at the same time, if there's something that you can do, we can have a long meeting on Monday evening too. So All right. that's the, um, good point. So, any other not agenda items, other business? Yeah, I, uh, I do have some things that I can bring up. Here. But if Larry's not here. Can you relay this on uh, on John Street? We've got one uh, resident that uh, grass is getting up there. Right across the street from the school. Can you get them in the address? It's right across the street from the school. Yeah. I don't know. Where it is. It's a street there. Oh, it's in the 300. Oh. <laughs> All right, last good question. I'll drive down the 400 block of John Street. And then this Richardson Street, um, another question for Larry. We want to put that back. Real nice. I don't know when they're planning on doing that, when they're going to be done, if they're done. They were doing a water test last thing I heard, and yeah. I hadn't talked to Calvin this week, so I'm not sure. I'm just still reading, man. It's still a process. I want to make sure when we get that, when it's done, that it's put that nice. Yeah, he, Calvin mentioned that. that is part of the process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Drugstore update. Anything? Heard anything on that? Um, Little here and there, yeah. Uh, uh, I would uh, ask uh, city manager okay. that question. Okay. Any other non-agenda items? Other business? We have two public comments. <coughs> the first one, Mr. Scray, sir, you have the floor. Thank you. Um, I want to give you an update on the property here. Um, I was disappointed that, um, contrary to uh, what I spoke to Larry about and yourself, uh, my understanding was when I showed up in court that um, the lawsuit would be dropped with a 
pursuant to um, a purchase from myself, but um, I guess he went ahead with the lawsuit anyway. The lawyer, when I met him, he was unaware of any of the details that I had provided you folks. Um, I was surprised by that, my written uh, commitment to do uh, moderately extensive repairs. Um, since then, I've taken a different tack. Um, I've analyzed the, um, the lawsuit, I've gone through it, and what I have done is I've, I've entered into an agreement with Bill directly, uh, and I've already done all the repairs on the property that meet the requirements of the lawsuit. The water is on, electricity is on, um, the windows are open, um, the holes in the roof are patched, all the garbage is removed from the house. I still have to get it off the outside of the house. Um, the cellar entry um, has been blocked to prevent any varmints. Um, I will call for an inspection. Probably I'll call the police here to come out and look for varmints if you, if you desire, but there are no varmints in the place. The lawn's mowed, it's kept up. Um, so now all of the items, and I'm going to do this, um, they're done. So my tack now is to win the lawsuit. I will defeat your lawyer. Straight up. And we can do it that way if you want to. My advice to you is drop a lawsuit. Let me continue with the work that I want to do in good faith. And if you uh, meet all the minimum requires, is the demolition order stopped? That, that's correct. Just drop the lawsuit. No, yeah. I said if you meet the minimum requirements. It will be dropped. Right. It Then then that's all, I mean, that's all we can do. So then. That we all win. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, so you're asking us to do something that you can drop it before we get there we don't even have to go to court you're going to pay okay. your lawyer to show up i would you, i mean once, you once it's been inspected if you met the mean, the minimums then there's really nothing that, i mean we can't just add additional things to that so then right um it's coming along pretty well actually just as a side note getting in there i'm really surprised at how sound the structure is all the electrical work throughout the place okay. I have a little more plumbing to do, but it's I don't, nothing too. I guess I don't see the issue here. If you've met the, if, if you entered into an agreement, yep. you've met the minimum. We'll, we can schedule an inspection. Once you've scheduled the inspection, that's that's all we can ask to do. And then you, we okay. can, then it can be dropped at that time. And then we can look forward to the progress that you make. On it, it needs more. So. I mean, there's, there'll be more to it. That, you know, I told you I'm going to make it a nice place. And, but that's going to take a little more time. We appreciate that. So yeah, I bet um, you don't like all the garbage that's sitting out there. <laughs> I've seen pictures posted on Facebook. So okay, um, it's gone. Already uh, about a third of it's gone. Uh, no, we appreciate you getting the garbage out. I do appreciate the work that's, that's being Thank done. You. But um, so uh, I would uh, contact the city manager. Has gone this week, so okay. feel free to contact. Um, uh, the police department. Let's get let's get something scheduled so we can get it. What is the so mechanism for that to for you for you folks to be satisfied? Um, I went through and, and wrote a detailed list, and here they are: turn on water, electricity, um, you know, repair any broken. The order glass. called for those things to be done, correct? All those. And you hit the checklist right there. That's so. correct. Yep. Uh, I would imagine the city manager um, will be part of that inspection. So. Technically, there's there's a few windows where the inside's cracked, the outside's not. I'm getting those fixed tomorrow, but, but in terms of being able to go in from the outside, any birds or things like that, they're all, I mean, it's, it's sound in, in that regard. Okay. Well, um, but, but originally, did you claim that the city failed to live up to their original agreement? That was, um, I was a little disappointed when I went to court and I thought the lawsuit would be dropped because I had committed to buy the property. I, I was surprised by that, but you know, I think you folks, for whatever reason, changed your mind by the time I got there. I wasn't in on that meeting. I had to take okay. an option. I'm, I'm wondering how the ball. No, I had a discussion with them, and I we uh, and talked to some of the guys. We gave the, uh, told Larry that we needed to work with this gentleman. Our lawyer recommended that um, he was ex he was to Larry that he was fearful that if we dropped the lawsuit, um, giving the past with the previous owner, they uh -huh. felt that um, it, it could prolong. Um, uh, this and at least as I see it right now, the job's done. <laughs> well, you put me in the room. No, he contacted. Well, I mean, you just didn't get notified of that. Of that. It was two days before, um, and then um, I was told by by Larry. Well, I, yeah, I said that I was going to work with him, yeah. and then um, when I heard that we were not dropping the lawsuit, that was after the the actual meetings. And just just do recognize it put me at a disadvantage. I've gone ahead and done the work. Um, you know, if it, it, I guess Bill could try to walk on the deal that I have signed, and then you'll still be dealing with Bill. 
and yeah. So it was not. I, I don't think it was the. I don't think he handled the, the best way. Should have just dropped it and let me get the property and move on. You know. Well, it, past experience. Um, the last thing, if if I would have came to this city council and told them, by the way. Um, unilaterally went ahead and dropped this. No, and then the guy came thing. back. Then the guy came back and you know just it's not a finger to the, me. The only city way council would have been to drop upset. it is if I purchase it. It's not unilateral. So, so. No, if I made a, the decision to unilaterally drop the lawsuit when my lawyer is telling me not to do so, that would be pretty a, a bad idea in front of this. Well, the lawyer didn't even see the um, uh, the wrong on, proposal. On that, on that, aware of that, the job's done. Correct. So, Therefore, it's a moot point. So, yeah. it, it moot point. Very right. good. Thanks, yeah. sir. Thank you. The next, uh, Molly, you got the floor. Thank you. Um, for some time, there's been a dilemma on how best to honor and pay tribute to one of Farmer City's most influential citizens, Mr. Mike Hendricks. Teachers have a special place in the hearts of their community members they serve, and everyone looks back on their teachers with very potent emotion, whether it be bad or good. The nearly 1,000 attendees at the visitation of Mr. Hendricks' funeral last summer tells you where he stands in the hearts of many. And for more than 30 years, he served our community and touched the lives of our youth. I'm one of the many students who are lucky enough to say he taught two generations of my family and furthermore can call him my teacher and my coach. He taught me to golf and I never even swung a club. Our team with three Three first-time golfers eventually qualified for sectional, sectionals, and it pales in comparison to the achievements of the team I lovingly called Nerd Bowl or Scholastic Bowl, of which I was eagerly serving the role of Captain Nerd. And the memories of Mr. Hendricks' enthusiasm are still outstanding in my mind. Now, what I just shared is a fraction of my story, my memories, so think of the collections of stories all coming together to make up the legacy of this teacher. The way he impacted this community is immeasurable. And that is why, with a discussion with a fellow classmate of mine, became the, the genesis of an idea to honor Mr. Hendricks while standing just up the block in the Freedom Flashing Photography Studio with entrepreneur photographer Micah McCoy. We began talking about the changes and the movement of our downtown area. Small town main streets are enjoying a bit of resurgence thanks to efforts like Small Business Saturdays and grant funding projects, but Farmer City is still currently a community shadowed by past violence and current vandalism. And recently, publicity has not been kind to the youth of our small town. But for every bad story, there is a story that is good. I believe we need to accentuate those stories. One of them is the volume of stories of Mr. Mike Hendricks, who was a real force for good in the roles of coach, teacher, and father. I propose that a team be assembled to find a suitable location in the downtown area for a large mural of the periodic table of elements, where it will be a reminder, constant and visible to the community and to visitors at all times of the good that was achieved here and is still being achieved. A willing group of student artists at the high school have already agreed to work with Ms. Sarah Wiper and I propose that artist Mary Yagan and Martha Willie be commissioned to act as advisors to the students, both have verbally consented. The periodic table is a literal and symbolic representation of what our late chemistry teacher left to us. A group of elements, each different, each having an individual impact upon the very foundation of our lives. Without it, there can be no chemical reaction, no forces for change. Everyone in the community is a part of it. It was embodied in the dedication, spirit, and enthusiasm of Mr. Mike Hendricks. I've spoken with his daughter, Amber, who shared the idea with her mother and siblings who are in agreement that this is a fitting tribute to their father. So I look forward to the council's decision and thank you for your time and consideration. Very well written. Also, I'd recommend that you take that same letter and uh, post it to the Farmer's and Leader and Press. Um, as an editorial, very well written. So, um, with that, entertain a motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Right Call it. <coughs> Harden? Yes. McKinley? Yes. Chesbury? Yes. Jenkins? Yes. Hunt? Yes.